Heritage International is a global consulting firm with a diverse portfolio. The aim of the company is to create a substantial and lasting improvement in the performance of its clients and strengthen their brand value. White Page has played a pivotal role in scouting for India's most admired brands. This is an endeavor to recognize the most trusted and admired brands in the country. The fifth edition that you're about to see speaks great volumes about the brands that make such a major contribution to the economy. As a professor at six of the world's top business schools, I'm dedicated to world-class brands. They innovate around core benefits, the whole organization lives the brand at all customer touch points. They make it easy to buy through distribution and penetration. They make the brand famous and distinctive through relevant communications. And more importantly, they create superior profits and sustainable competitive advantage. So when we speak of the inception and the concept behind putting the list of, say, uh, 100 or 50 brands together, and um, that list is about the most admirable brands. So of course it was very challenging to sort of sift out the best brands and uh, give them parameters and sort of understand where they fit in. Um, the whole process was uh, also uh, difficult because we tried to give each brand a personality. We started thinking if this brand is trustworthy, if this has any heritage with it. And also a very important factor was innovation. These are the three parameters we, re we used to come up with a list of brands that we think are the most admirable ones in India. Hello and welcome to our special series where we're featuring some of India's most admired brands. In today's episode, we'll be exploring the journey of two such brands. The first one is a renowned Indian company known for its product innovation. Over a century old, Godrej needs no introduction. So let's find out more about Godrej Appliances, that is the powerhouse of new ideas and innovation. Gothrage Appliances is one of the largest players in the home appliances space in India and offers a wide range of products. The company is known for delighting consumers with innovative, relevant and green technologies. Today manufacturing function is one of the core strengths of Gothrage Appliances which not only helps in driving profitability but also helps in building its brand image. Gothrage Appliances strives to scale new heights through its constant evolution and innovation. Kamal Nandi, business head and executive vice president of Godrej Appliances, talks about business strategy and vision for the company. Take a look. So your company has been acknowledged as one of India's most admired brands. So how was the journey to the top? Three, four factors, if I must say, where which we have been focusing to uh, bring in customer centricity across all domains of our functions. So service is one of them. Uh, the second is, uh, you know, the innovation, the product that we bring in, uh, the solutions that we bring in, and we are we are uh, trying to work on very relevant uh, mm -hmm. technologies and relevant solutions for our consumers. Then uh, the, I, I would say the third thing is our focus on uh, sustainable and green ethos, uh, which I think uh, is something which is which is uh, which is very very um, important in today's uh, today's scenario. And and the and the and the fourth thing I would say would be uh, uh, you know a lasting relationship that we build with our stakeholders, so all stakeholders and customers uh, being our main stakeholders. So right. how do we build a strong uh, relationship with them, a lasting relationship with them? I think all these uh, have been the pillars to build the customer centricity, uh -huh. and that has helped us uh, move up this level. So every brand faces make or break moments. So uh, how did you overcome if there was any such moment? So I think uh, as a brand, uh, we always enjoyed um, a very high trust from our consumers. Mm -hmm. I think that has been uh, one of the s strong foundation based on which we started building the whole right. uh, journey. So uh, I think uh, because of that, uh, we have been able to uh, you know, bounce back fighting all the multinationals. Uh, what we focused on is largely how, um, what sort of, uh, you know, uh, solutions we want to provide them, what sort of products we want to provide them. So, given the trust that we enjoy, I think if uh, when we brought about the right solutions to the consumer, the right type of products to the consumer, the right set of service to the consumers, I think we have started gaining, we saw state started gaining grounds. 
Okay. I think that's that's I think I would say um, the biggest uh, pillar based on which we we are able to bounce back. How would you attribute your uh, brand success to your talented workforce? So I would uh, say I think it is uh, their contribution has been significant uh, mm -hmm. for us. Uh, I think the workforce played a very important role, uh, both the younger generation and the experienced uh, people that we have in the team. Uh, the whole teamwork between both the younger generation and the and the experienced. Uh, has really uh, worked well in our organization. So we, we believe in uh, you know, empowerment, we believe in uh, experimentation, uh, and therefore I think, and we believe in giving people uh, a bigger challenge to work on. I think those, I think, came uh, very motivating for them, and people have really, with full passion and determination, uh, contributed. How important are these innovations for your products and for the company? Oh, so they are very, very important because I think today's consumer uh, is uh, looking for a differentiated product. Today's consumer is looking for something new, something contemporary, something extraordinary. Mm -hmm. I think uh, if you are not innovating, you are not in the race anymore. I think very clearly. That's true. So innovation is the backbone of today's uh, you know, offerings in the market. And we have been focusing on this, okay? So right, I think we have been doing this for the past uh, more than a decade. So uh, we, lo we were the first one to bring a 100% green product in the marketplace in 2002. Mm -hmm. uh, first uh, brand to bring in inverters in the marketplace. Uh, first brand to uh, bring in uh, a problem that handles the power and water crisis in the country uh, called a DAC, which is Dynamic Echo Power Control. Uh, we brought in uh, Chotu Cool, which is a solution for uh, the you know uh, the uh, people who are not really wanting to have a, a, a low cost solution for refrigeration, okay. people, the non users, the people who are not using refrigerators, bringing them into this gambit of uh, mm -hmm. this category. Recently, that we have launched our NXW refrigerators, a lot of innovative ideas there. Mm -hmm. I think innovation has been the backbone for all our product development and solutions and that has really helped us. What is your vision for the company and for the brand in the next five years? So very clearly, I think we are on our journey to uh, regain our leadership uh, in the industry, in the country. So in the next five years, we definitely want to go get back to our leadership position as a brand in our industry. And also, I think, uh, increase uh, our footprint globally and become a strong uh, global player. Marketing head of Godrej Appliances, Swati Rathi worked on refrigerators, washing machines and known for its marketing innovation and brand strategy. Uh, Swati, tell us something about your uh, brand strategy, the marketing strategy for the brand and what is the USP? In? You know, for a brand which is in existence for more than a hundred years, I think the key imperative automatically becomes staying relevant and contemporary for the changing Indians, right? And uh, keeping that in mind and the way the lifestyles have been changing, uh, the key focus strategy for the brand has been premiumization. Mm -hmm. Now, when I say premiumization, it plays up in two ways. One, the extension of the brand in high-end segments. And a clear result of that was the launch of the NXW sub-brand uh, earlier last year. Okay. And the next level is, of course, taking it down across segments. So when we say presence and premiumization in the high ends, it's not just the, uh, the very high end meant for the elites, but it's also the play of the brand in the high end segments across strata, across the various product categories. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's something that has been our focus area for the brand, the product, the, the entire offering, really. Um, in terms of USP, uh, what has really differentiated brand Godridge is a clear understanding of the Indian consumer and that plays back in the form of offerings which are extremely relevant, differentiated and innovative. Mm -hmm. We would rather deliver products that one can touch, feel and understand technology uh, which, which really add value to a consumer's life. Mm -hmm. Uh, so you will never really find gimmicky products coming from a brand like Godrej Appliances. And that's part of the ethos of the brand, to live up to the trust of Indian consumers. It's important that we keep doing that. Uh, and the only way to do that is to kind of keep going back to consumers, validating it, understanding their lives. Uh, so customer centricity kind of forms the backbone of everything we do. And then that manifests in the form of innovative differentiated products. 
Manufacturing is one of the core strengths of Godrej Appliances and under the leadership of Hussein Shariar, Senior Vice President Operations, two manufacturing units have undergone a massive transformation in operations with implementation of many key initiatives. At Godrej Appliances, we have evolved our strategy over the, long, over the past few years. We have made it a four-dimensional strategy for manufacturing. Not, it's not only limited to operational ex uh, excellence, we involve the suppliers where we continuously develop them, we involve the employees, empower them and develop them, and we also do a lot for the green environment. We have also done a little bit of work for the surrounding community where we involve them and build, uh, build a deep connect and bond with them. If women can participate in agriculture, if women can participate in service sector, why can't they participate in manufacturing? So this was the thought process which made us drive this initiative and we got women on the shop floor. Today, they operate big, big machines, they can do welding work, they can practically do everything. So we are very happy with it and they are exactly working shoulder to shoulder with all our men employees. Well, it was an inspiring journey of Godrej Appliances. It's time now for us to take a short break. Hello and welcome to our special series where we are featuring some of India's most admired brands. With Indian insurance market ruled majorly by the public sector companies, changing people's mindsets was the biggest challenge. Taking up this challenge and responding to the changing scenarios of the market, Bajaj Alliance Journal Insurance created a niche for itself in a matter of only 15 years. Let's find out the journey so far. Bajaj Alliance General Insurance is India's leading general insurance company. Having begun its operations in 2001, the company today has a pan-India presence and has been constantly expanding its operations to reach out to its customers. It caters to people across the country with its wide range of products and services that go beyond insurance. Bajaj Allianz is the only insurance company in the industry to have been profitable since its inception. Bajaj Allianz was the first insurer to leverage the digital platform and offer speedy services to policyholders. Tapan Singhal, MD and CEO, Bajaj Allianz General Insurance Company, has been with the company since its inception in 2001 and was an integral part of the team starting up the insurance business in the retail market. He leads its overall growth strategy. Today, with the turnover of over Rs 5,900 crores, it has grown over 30% since 2012 and the profits have increased by 90%. Uh, so your company started uh, 15 years back with an aim to be the market leader in general insurance. Now, 15 years later, uh, Bajaj Allianz General Insurance uh, stands tall as uh, one of India's most admired brands. How was the journey so far? Uh, so if I get back to the beginning, yeah, I think then our aim was to be able to serve our customers uh, well. No, Our aim was to uh, differentiate in the market, to enhance the customer experience. Our aim was to recruit uh, people, give them a happy place to work and our aim was to give shareholders a uh, return on their investment. Uh, that was uh, the basic aim, no? which uh, I think any company when they start, they would be having uh, that kind of aim. And as we worked towards it, and uh, we could uh, uh, innovate, uh, push the boundaries, uh, and as the journey continued uh, for more time, I think the brand got built up. Uh, from the time when I remember uh, when we used to go for uh, discussions with customers, and they would say, yes, um, uh, we know Bajaj is a household name, and we know Allianz is the world's largest insurance company. But Bajaj Alliance, as of now, you guys have to work for a bit more. We don't trust you as yet. No? From those days to today, when we go to meet a customer and we tell him that we are from Bajaj Alliance, they say, yeah, this we know. Let's come down to what more can you do for us. No? So it's been a good journey. We, we enjoy this journey. What were the challenges Bajaj Alliance faced on its way to achieve this? Uh, many. Uh, see, if you look at insurance, it's not a tangible product. Mm -hmm. it is, it's a promise. It's a promise that things go wrong, we are there. No? Right. So a promise has to have trust. You will not take a promise uh, on the face value of it. You, Absolutely. you have to create that trust. You have to demonstrate the trust. Right. So it takes time. And when uh, private players were allowed in India in the year 2001, uh, you had uh, government players uh, before that, the public sector. When you have uh, public sectors, which is backed by government, uh, if you are a customer, you definitely would have more trust on a public sector unit compared to a, a new private company which in which they're selling a promise no right so it starts with that which was very fair 
but I think over a period of time we have demonstrated the ability to pay claims. In fact, in Mumbai flood in the year 2005, in the Srinagar floods uh, in the year 2014, then the Chennai floods, Uttarakhand floods, if you look at the media, the press, uh, we have been rated as a company which has gone door to door settling claims. Wow. In fact, in Chennai, I think in Srinagar where we have close to 50% market share, we settled around 30,000 claims in three months time and paid over 1,000 crores. You know? mm -hmm. So the, test, the trust or the brand that you see for a company got built over a period of time uh, and re-emphasized by the fact that we have delivered every time. I think that is how it got uh, built. Tell us about your brand strategy. What is the USP? What is the unique thing? And uh, any particular campaign that has actually lifted uh, the company's uh, brand ahead? Today, if you look at a claim, uh, you'll be getting settled at the, at the garage. Your health will be getting settled in a half an hour's time. Mm -hmm. Then we thought, okay, settling claims, uh, we demonstrated we are good, but what do we do after that? And that is where we came up with the idea of a relationship beyond insurance. So it's not only about uh, claims, it's also about if something goes wrong, we should be there. Uh, when the Nirbhay case happened uh, in Delhi, we realized that uh, in those days, you didn't have this uh, Ola, Uber, no? and public transport in Gurgaon was, uh, Gurgaon was not so uh, good. So we came out for all our women customers, uh, a complimentary service, where even if a tire burst happens, mm -hmm. uh, we got uh, somebody to go and change them by professionals. If the battery conked out, if the fuel ran out, no, if legal assistance was required. Mm -hmm. Now, all this does not really form part of a claim, because a claim means an accident has to happen. No? Right. So we went uh, beyond claims. We went uh, beyond the relationship of an insurance contract. We went to a state where any worry of a customer can we take care of it. I think that is the kind of brand we want to build. No, uh, Insurance, yes, we do that. We understand that well. And we'll keep on doing that good. But even your other worries, can we take care of it? I think that is the journey that we have been looking into. Okay. Uh, so Bajaj Arlins is also known for its innovative products and services in the insurance space. Could you elaborate more on that? Uh, when people talk of innovation, I think I remember a very old saying, which says that uh, necessity is the mother of all uh, invention. Right. I think, you know? So uh, one is we can take credit and sound very great. Mm -hmm. The reality is that most of it has come because of some need. Right. Uh, but since uh, our obsession is there with the customer, it, uh, it is good. I think the, the necessity is good. I remember the first time when we came out with um, the cashless at um, garages. One, we wanted to reduce um, the claim time, but the necessity was that we're setting infrastructure. No? Mm -hmm. So we had to ensure that people are able to be serviced well and uh, and in a very in a manner which is very fast mm -hmm. and that is when the thought came up for cashless at garages and it became a big innovation it right. became a big hit then we started health insurance uh, uh, people are looking for external uh, third party administrators to uh, help them we thought uh, how will we differentiate for customers if we if we give it outsource uh, the servicing to somebody else so we created our own uh, tpa we recruited doctors and that became another big innovation which uh, transformed the market. Now most of the companies are doing the same. Then we thought, okay, we are settling claims, not garages. Why can't the consumer uh, settle his own claim? No, we trust people. Uh, we are a company which is based on trust. Then we came out with an innovation where people can click uh, photographs on the spot. Right. And if they agree to the suspend, the money gets transferred immediately, no, on the spot of the accident, no. Okay, so, so you don't have, nobody has to go and get. Uh, nobody the has to go, straight. no, and go and uh, and get that assist up to a limit which uh, the regulator allows. Right. And then we thought uh, for issuance of policy, why does a person have to come to office? Why can't the office go to the uh, person? And then we had innovated where the policy can be issued uh, on WhatsApp uh, at your doorstep uh, by you uh, wow. directly. You know? uh, then we saw the, all the social media coming up, let's say Tweet Insurance, LinkedIn. Uh, uh, we thought why can't a person service, uh, get his services through uh, Twitter? So we came out with the uh, tweet um, insurance. No? Uh, we also have come out with the um, uh, customer uh, wallet. It's, it's, an, it's an app which a customer can uh, download. No? Mm -hmm. It basically tracks all your policies. It helps you with the uh, renewals. You can pay straight through the app. Even your claims get settled, you can st it can come straight through the app to your accounts. Uh, with the demonetization uh, effect, I think a consumer of ours who has a wallet is not affected by that. So what are the key success mantras of uh, Bajaj Arlen's general insurance? There are two, three things that uh, is very clear in our DNA. One is our employees. Uh, they have to be happy. They have to be taken care of. No? Two is our obsession with the customer. We have to keep on thinking what next. Right. No? Uh, we set the benchmarks and then we think, okay, how do we move to the next? What is at the, from a consumer perspective, what should we do more? Mm -hmm. 
And third is that we believe that the company has to be run well. It has to be profitable. It has to have uh, growth. That's all from us today. Hope you enjoyed these stories. We'll continue to bring you some of India's most admired brands and unravel their success stories in this series. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.